good morning students uh, welcome you again the online classes today i am going to take a class class 12 mathematics and you know we are discussing about determinant so last day we uh, discussed how to uh, calculate the minor and uh, minor and uh, cofactor of a determinant today we will discuss how to calculate the adjoint of a matrix and inverse of a matrix so look uh, first how we can calculate the adjoint of a matrix so let us consider a matrix a by a11 a12 a13 a21 a22 a23 a31 a32 a33 if this is a matrix of order 3 cos 3 now adjoint of this matrix is denoted by adjoint of a adj of a and is defined by a matrix of same order by capital a11 capital a12 capital a13 capital a21 capital a22 capital a23 capital a31 a32 a33 where aij is the add aij is the cofactor of the L corresponding to element a small ij so capital aij is the cofactor of the element corresponding to the small aij uh, i have given example of 3 cos 3 matrix so you can uh, choose a 2 cos 2 matrix but the procedure is same i'm going to uh, i'm going uh, to example how to calculate the adjoint of a matrix so uh let us choose a problem from the exercise 4.5 and uh, a question number um question number suppose one so here is a matrix a a 2 cross 2 matrix 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 so we have to calculate the adjoint of the matrix so for that we have to first calculate the uh, cofactors so first calculate a11 which means the cofactor of cofactor of small a11 and that is this is a11 so to calculate the cofactor we have to uh, cover the this row and this column so we have just one number which is equal to 4 and the sign will be 1 plus 1 is plus now this a 1 2 which means cofactor of a 1 uh, 2 which is equal to minus 1 whole to the power 1 plus 2 into now for this is a 1 to calculate the cofactor of a 1 we have to cover the first row and the second column so we have just one number that is equal to 3 so that is equal to minus 3 now uh, a a21 a21 means cofactor of the element a21 that is equal to minus 1 whole to the power 2 plus 1 into so look, look this is a 2 comma 1 element so to calculate the cofactor of that we have to cover this column and this row so 2 so that is equal to minus 2 and a22 is equal to cofactor of a22 which is equal to now look this is a22 element so to calculate the cofactor we have to cover this column and this row so this that is minus 1 whole to the power 2 plus 2 into 1 that is equal to 1 so that adjoint of adjoint of the matrix a is equal to the formula is capital a11 a12 a21 a22 
transpose of that matrix. That means put the value. So a11 is equal to 4, a2, a12 is equal to minus 3, a21 is equal to minus 2, and a22 is equal to and transpose of that. So that is equal to 4 minus 2 minus 3 and 1. So this is the answer of a matrix of 2 cos 2. Now we'll uh, choose an um, now look uh, question number 2 uh, is uh, same to find the adjoint of the matrix but here the order of the matrix is 3 comma 3. So I am leaving the uh, uh, questions, question number 2, uh, you try to uh, do it. Okay. So I am going to question number 4. Going to question number 4. Here we have to prove that that A into adjoint A is equal to adjoint A into A is equal to uh, data into I. And Question number 4. So let the given matrix A as uh, 1 minus 1 2 3 0 minus 2 1 0 3 This is the given matrix and we have to prove that A into adjoint A is equal to adjoint A into A is equal to beta into I. Here I means the identity matrix of order T. So first calculate the what is the determinant of A. So calculate beta. Beta is equal to so the matrix symbol will be converting to determinant 1 minus 1 2 3 0 minus 2 1 0 and 3. Now we have to expand the determinant and we know how to expand the determinant of order 3 plus 2. Now if we expand the determinant along the a second column, it will be very easy because it contains maximum number of 0, 2 number of 2 0. So expand the determinant along the second column. So we have minus 1, minus 1 into determinant of minus 1 into, now cover this column and this row. So we have 3, 3 is a 9 minus of minus 2 so that is plus 2 plus 0 into for this is 0 so 1 3 is a 3 minus 2 minus 0 into minus 2 and minus 2 3 is a 6 so at this that will be 0 0 into this this will be 0 so the answer will be 11 so determinant of a is equal to 11 ok now uh, calculate determinant a into i so 11 into i means the identity matrix of order 3 1 0 0 0 1 0 and 0 0 1 so if i multiply the matrix will be 11 0 0 0 11 0 0 0 11 ok so this is a into uh, i ok now we uh, calculate the adjoint of so let's calculate adjoint of A. Adjoint of A. So adjoint of A, we know the formula that A11, A12, A13, A21, A22, A23, A31, A33, uh, T2, A33. Okay, now we have to calculate the adjoint of A. So, I am doing directly. Okay. So adjoint of A means A11. So calculate the uh, um, A11 means cofactor of small a11. So we have to cover this column and this row. So it will be 0 minus 2, 0, 3. 0 minus 2, 0, 3. This is A11. And sign will be positive. Next element will be A12. So this is a one two element. So cover this row and this column. So we have three minus two one three. Three minus two one three plus a one three. A one three means this element. So three zero one zero. 
थ्री जीरो वन जीरो नाउ नेक्स्ट ए टू वन सो ए टू वन इज दिस एलिमेंट सो वन माइनस वन टू जीरो थ्री माइनस वन टू जीरो थ्री ए टू टू मीन्स वन टू वन थ्री वन टू वन थ्री माइनस ए टू थ्री मीन्स वन माइनस वन जीरो वन वन माइनस वन जीरो वन एंड द को फैक्टर ऑफ दिस एलिमेंट इज माइनस वन टू माइनस वन टू एंड जीरो थ्री जीरो माइनस टू जीरो माइनस टू माइनस एट जो दिस एलिमेंट इज वन टू थ्री माइनस टू वन टू थ्री माइनस टू एट एट जो दो Uh, this element is one minus one zero three. One minus one zero three, and transpose of this matrix. This you can do it directly. So that is equal to. Okay, so this is zero. Okay, this is six is a nine, uh, and uh, two ones are two. So nine plus two that is equal to. Minus eleven. That is equal to minus eleven. And uh, then, uh, then multiply this three into zero. That is equal to zero. Okay. So the next of okay. So the next will be three into minus one. That is equal to minus three. And this minus will be plus three. This element equal to t minus two. That is equal to one. This is equal to one minus zero. So that is minus one. Here, uh, two ones are two minus zero is so two. This is minus minus two and minus uh, six. So minus eight means plus eight. And this is t. And transpose of them. So do the transpose of the matrix. That is, we have to write the row, row, and column. We have to interchange that. So write the row into column and the column into row. One, eight, zero, minus one, three. So this is the adjoint of it. This is the adjoint of it. Now we have to multiply. Uh, we have to multiply. Uh, a and adjoint of a. See what's happening. If I multiply a and the adjoint of a, this is the a and adjoint of a. So multiply now a into adjoint of a. So look, a means a matrix is one minus one two three zero minus two one zero. C one minus one two zero three zero minus two one zero three into adjoint of A. Now look, adjoint of A is equal to this matrix. So zero three two minus eleven one eight zero minus one three zero minus one three. Now multiply these two matrices. So if I multiply the matrices, we have one into zero, that is zero, plus one into eleven, that is equal to eleven, plus two into zero, that is equal to zero. I think you know how to multiply between two matrices. Okay. Now the second problem: three into zero, that is zero, plus zero into eleven, that is eleven, uh, zero. Plus two uh, into minus two into zero means a zero again. Third column will be one into zero means zero. Plus zero into minus eleven zero. Three into zero means zero. So this element is zero. Okay. So second column we have to multiply the first row and this column, this column and this row. So one into three. 
3 minus 1 into minus 1 is 1 and 2 into minus 1 that is equal to minus 2 for this 3 into 3 9 0 into 1 0 and minus 2 into minus 1 that is plus 2 for the next element 1 into 3 is equal to 3 0 into minus 1 that is equal to 0 and 3 into minus 1 equal to minus 3 for this second root column 2 into 1 that is 2 minus 1 into 8 minus 8 plus 3 to the 6 second element 3 into 2 6 plus 0 minus 6 and third element 2 plus 0 plus 9 that is equal to 11 0 0 0 11 0 0 0 11 so a into adjoint equal to 11 0 0 0 11 0 0 0 11 now uh, we'll calculate adjoint a into a now we'll calculate adjoint a into a adjoint a into a so a value of adjoint a equal to this one 0 3 2 minus 11 1 8 0 minus 1 3 and value of a equal to this 1 minus 1 2 3 0 minus 2 1 0 3 now multiply uh, between the matrices so we have 0 into 1 which is equal to 0 3 into 3 that is equal to 9 2 into 1 equal to 2 minus 1 into 11 minus 11 this is a plus 3 plus 8 it is 0 minus 3 plus 3 second column will be 0 plus 0 plus 0 minus plus 11 plus 0 plus 0 and for this it will be 0 plus 0 plus 0 and the third column will be 0 into 2 0 3 into minus 2 that is 6 and 2 into 3 that is equal to plus 6 uh, this is minus 11 into 2 it is equal to minus 22 minus 2 and 24 3 is the 24 and this is 0 plus 2 plus 9 so that is equal to 11 0 0 0 11 0 0 0 11 now we can see from the result that a into adjoint a equal to uh, 11 means 11 0 0 0 11 0 0 0 11 and adjoint a into a is the same result so we can say that a into adjoint a is equal to adjoint a into a is equal to data into i g i g or i okay data into i g so a into adjoint a from adjoint a a into a equal to data into i g so hence proof now from here from this line we have a important a formula and the formula is look at the last line write it again that uh, a into adjoint a is equal to data into i now if i multiply both sides by a inverse if i multiply both sides by a inverse then we have a inverse into a into adjoint a is equal to a inverse into a data into i so now a into a inverse gives you i into adjoint a is equal to data into a inverse that means that means adjoint a is equal to data into a inverse now if i multiply if i divide by data both side so this is data and this data will be cancelled provide data is not equal to zero means when the matrix A is not singular matrix so 
in that case we have a inverse equal to 1 by delta a into adjoint of a so this is a very important formula uh, that a inverse equal to uh, 1 by delta a into adjoint of a okay so um, next step we will use this formula uh, to calculate the inverse of a few matrix okay so a uh, normal today uh, I'll try to solve the problems uh, which I have skipped here and from next day uh, we'll continue the next part of the exercise. Thank you.